I'm Atuba Judge, and I'm so blessed and feel so excited to be bringing God's truth to you today. Praise God. Are you ready to call for your daily bread? Man, I'm so ready. You know why? I mean, I'm expecting a whole lot today. <laughs> Praise God. So, are you ready to join me in faith? I join my faith with you. That as I'm receiving, you will receive also. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So, say this when you say, Father, today I receive my daily bread. It's coming to me now. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. And Father, we honor you for this broadcast today. Let burdens be lifted. Let yokes be destroyed. In the power of the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise God. A miracle is happening in your life even right now. Listen, God is speaking to people concerning you. And every one of them will obey his voice where you are concerned. In Jesus' name. God is not done with you yet. Rather, he is just beginning with you. Praise God. Yeah, that's the truth. He's just beginning with you. Praise God. So, we, we, we continue from where we stopped yesterday. I, I know I got into something so important yesterday. And that's from Revelation chapter 13 and verse 8 talking about the lamb of god that was you know the, the that phrase the lamb of god that was slain from the foundation of the world that we are too used to it so you know someone, someone listening to me and i said what are you trying to say it's simple just read other translations in your bible now i read the hcsb translation yesterday let me look for another one now american standard version yeah let's look at american standard version and it says and, and, and verse 8, Revelation 13, And all that dwell on the earth shall worship him, everyone whose name had not been written from the foundation of the world in the book of life of the Lamb that have been slain. Praise God. Now, he is referring to the Lamb. Jesus was the Lamb. But then he is talking about the book of life that belongs to the Lamb. Now, why did he say it is a book of life of the Lamb? You know, many, many years ago, I used to think there were two book of life. You know, there's the book of life um, and then there's the book of life, the general book of life where everybody's name is written. Then the, the book of life of the Lamb. The book of life of the Lamb is for only those who got born again. So when you get born again, your name is now written in the book of the life of life of the lamb so the lamb has his own book so when we stand before god the lamb is going to come with his own book and say okay all those written in my book oh yeah this way all of us will now move that way then we'll keep us aside then god will now open the other book of life and check the remaining people on the head <laughs> no i'm i used to believe so don't, don't call it work now but because we keep growing praise god now I found out, no, the book of life that God wrote from the foundation of the world was actually, I am Brenda, was a book that God handed over to Jesus. Mm. John 17. Verse 2. I read this before, but now I want to explain it in this light now. John 17 and verse 2. As thou hast given him power or authority over all flesh that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. You have given him authority over all flesh so that he will give eternal life 
to all that you have given him. He didn't say, as many as thou shall give him. He said, as many as thou hast given him. What's Jesus saying here? Now, when man was created, I wanted to listen. And listen good. Because this might shake your theology. But you see, you will only find out that this is the truth. Doesn't matter how long you take. So just, just get it. Get it now. See, let me tell you something. Even if you don't accept it now, take it as a prayer point. Go and tarry before the Lord. It's okay, Lord, look, I don't, I don't believe what this pastor judge is saying. I, I, but I bring a report. I report him to you. Father, how can he be saying this kind of thing? Or are you tell me the truth about this? That's all you need to do. And if the Lord tells you something different, please let us know. Praise <laughs> God. Yeah, let us know. But don't just sit down there and say, what nonsense. I, I, I don't believe this thing. That, I don't believe this thing that you say. The one you believe, where did you get it from? Is it from the Lord? Or someone told you and you believe that person. Now, so because you believe that person, now you're having a problem turning away from what you have believed that a man gave you because another man is telling you something else. Okay, so leave the man in the picture. <laughs> Take the matter to the Lord himself. Isn't that better? Praise God. Yeah, so now. So when Adam was, was formed, Adam didn't have eternal life. He didn't. But God said, let us make man in our image and after our likeness. Yes, he said. But Adam was not in the image and likeness of God. Did God lie? No, he didn't lie. <laughs> he made Adam and this was what he was onto. Adam was going to be in the image and likeness of God. So God started the process by forming him from the dust of the ground, breathed into him the bread of life, and he became a living soul. Then now, now there, now he, hey, little bro, here. He was supposed to constantly be receiving the ministry and the visitation of the Lord. And, and, and every time he receives the visitation of the Lord, something will be added to him. Anytime he receives the visitation of the Lord, something will be added to him. And then, I, you know, God said, look, there are two trees in the garden. Don't eat them like you eat the others. This one's only when I command you, so wait for my command. They were meant to keep that obedience. And then God will, you see, the, God, the intention of God was that they, was never that they never eat of that tree. No, God, God put that tree for eating. It was, norm, it was a normal tree to be eaten. But God put an instruction there. If you will obey me to this point, then I'll reveal to you the next phase of your life. But they didn't obey God. They, they stopped at that tree of knowledge of good and evil. And they disobeyed the Lord. They didn't get to the tree of life. Now, this is it. The, <laughs> the ministry of Jesus from the foundation of the world was to come and administer. Now, the tree of life was also a tree. See? So, but if they had obeyed God to that point, then the ministry of Jesus then would have simply been come and usher man into the era of eternal life. Now, that's when man would have come into the fullness of the statue or the, 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 the image and likeness of God. 
but they never got to that point. Before they got, they, they got to the tree of knowledge of good and evil and they failed the test. And, and that was when man, God disconnected them from his plan. See? So, <clears throat> but, but already God had given that ministry to Jesus that it is your job to give life to man. So what is going to happen? Is it that Jesus is not going to fulfill his ministry anymore? Is God going to go back? Is God going to destroy all mankind and then come back again? Form man out of the dust of the ground? So, when the season for Jesus to fulfill his ministry came, he could not fulfill his ministry. Now, God had given him the book of life. Take your job is to give eternal life to all that are written here. Yes, sir. Why would God give him that book? Another day's talk. <laughs> Praise God. So Jesus received that book, but he couldn't give man life. Why? Man was sold to the devil legally. So what are you going to do? There were two things, and you need to understand this. One is the belief, can man really receive eternal life? To receive eternal life, man has to obey God completely. So is this the man? And let me tell you something. The receiving of eternal life. That was why God had to say, put a cherub with, 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 with um, swords to block the way to the tree of life. Because the moment man gains access to the tree of life, right? Man is going to live independent of God. Now, just like Lucifer. You see, Lucifer had gotten to that point where God gave him life. So Lucifer carries life and Lucifer exists independent of God. And that's why God cannot kill him. So, <laughs> eventually, and that's what heaven did and that's what heaven still does today. Because God had given Lucifer life to have for himself. So Lucifer can exist. He can even mock God and there is nothing God can do about it. God can say, you're gone. It's, it's not possible. So what? The council of heaven sat and decided the judgment that will be given to Lucifer. And that's where the lake of fire came from. It's not destruction. It's just a prison of torment. And he's going to be there for eternity because he cannot be destroyed. So he's going to live for eternity. But now he will live in a confined environment for eternity. So God looked at man when the moment man disobeyed God, he blocked access to the tree of life. So he's not going to create another problem like Lucifer. So there was the challenge of can man receive life or should we destroy man right now and start it afresh? Now that's where the power of intercession came in. And, and Jesus volunteered. Hear me, hear me. <sighs> you know my time is off. <laughs> They say, we are getting into some tough areas now <laughs> that I need your whole attention. So we're going to stop here today and I'm going to continue tomorrow and trust the Spirit of God. He will, he will help us um, form the body of this thing. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Lord, I ask for your understanding to be poured out upon us. Thank you. All over the earth, the glory of the Lord is spreading. 
and the knowledge of his truths is filling the whole earth. And men are coming to the place of understanding of who you are. And they are rising up to believe and become the intended man. That your plan and purpose be fulfilled on the earth. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You are the one doing this in our day and in our time. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.